Hi, this is Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston off Daniel Island, and today I'm very excited to take you through a brand new model from Scout Boats. It's their all-new 281 XSS. This is the new flagship in their Bay Boat or Hybrid Crossover series, and we're going to take you through all the features. Starting off here in the bow, you've got a very expansive foredeck area. This is great for casting, but honestly, it's if you're going to use this as a recreational family boat, this is a great use of space as well. Really easy to navigate around this area if you're pulling up to the beach or the sandbar or to the dock. Um, you can make a charcuterie board out of it if you wanted to. But a lot of good space here. Um, bow rod cup holder combo, so this boat is ready for a bow shade. You can do either the Aztec finish here, with the, which is a synthetic teak, or you can do sea deck foam flooring. This is a windless boat, so you've got controls here in addition to what you have at the dash. And that, of course, is going to be mounted through the stem with a freshwater washdown hookup here. Big beefy lids throughout this boat. Big U-shaped seating here, very pushed out, very expansive, so you can easily seat probably five people up here comfortably. You've got storage throughout the bow. Big chase lounge, coffin box style storage here. You'll notice the exposed carbon fiber. It's part of the carbon edition. So this is a, an epoxy infused boat, just like Scout's S-Class, which is their 33 foot boats and up, double stepped hull. Here you've got access to batteries, the boat's windless anchor if you need to get to the anchor line, but this is all finished out like all Scouts are, so this is also a good storage area as well. All these cushions do remove if you wanted to convert this to more fishing focused, but if you wanted to easily access this foredeck area, just pop that center cushion out you got a ton of space around here to move around very freely. Molded in backrests right here. Very comfortable. We just had this boat sprayed down. But uh, this is a very deep boat. You feel very secure. We've had this boat running at 62 miles an hour and some pretty rough chop today. You never at one point felt like you weren't secure, even all the way back in the cockpit where it starts to taper off with that really sexy profile. We've got uh, speakers up here in the bow. Um, this is a battery charger for trolling motor batteries. This is a Grigio, the Grigio interior, one of several upholstery options. We've got cup holders here, Corian countertop, nod skid surface so you can set your phones out of the way. Again, I, it's considered a bay boat, but I still have plenty of gunnel height, so I feel very secure. You know, families with young children are going to feel very secure in this boat as well. Coming back to the console, got a very spacious head, porcelain toilet, plumbed, overboard discharge, the whole nine yards there. Nice um, synthetic flooring, really dresses this space up. And you do have a good bit of headroom. So plenty of space if you need to use the facilities or just for storage. You'll notice how the hardtop is completely integrated into the console. Never been done before. Um, unique to this model, but a really, really impressive look. The carbon edition is tied into the boat's midnight edition package, which you're familiar with, with the black powder coating. That also tied in, ties in the black gel coat on the underside. Full glass windshield. So plenty of protection from the elements. Overhead, we've got speakers in the hard top. We have a Mercury vessel view display on the top left. Our power pole remotes are the top right. We've got spreader lights, windlass, pumps, uh, fresh water wash down. All of that's up here as well, in addition to what you have in the screens. Black dash. These are twin 12-inch screens. We have um, locking phone chargers, so that will lock your phone in place and keep them nice and sturdy. Cup holders, steering wheel is on a tilt base. Jack plate is standard on this boat. Digital throttle and shift with the new Mercury binnacle. You can do this boat in a single or twins. It will be joystick capable as well. Very comfortable footrest here. This is a very comfortable boat to drive whether you're seated or you're standing. Fold down armrests as well on this leaning post, and again, bolsters that are independent of each other. We do have two drawers of tackle storage on the starboard side, and it is to fold out tackle storage on the port side. Nice Corian countertop here with a see-through live well. 
two cup holders, four rod holders. Our raw and freshwater sprayers are on reels. Got a slide out Yeti cooler that locks into place with that latch. So here, when the seats are down, the live well lids are down, again, great casting area or just easily access on and off the boat, regardless of what your, your dock situation is. You got nice steps down, so it's a very boat, a very easy boat to transition out of. There is more drawer storage repeated on both sides. It's a self-failing cockpit with nice stainless drain grates. And then you've got a really big, heavy-duty, triple-wide stern seat with a very tall backrest. You can easily seat a couple of parents and a child back here, maybe even three smaller adults. If you need to access the systems, pop this seat up, which is on a hinge. you got dedicated bucket storage here. And now here you can get to your bilge pumps, your through holes, all that kind of stuff. If you need to get further access, this panel actually comes out and you can get in there even more so. You got live wells. Again, you got that carbon fiber exposed on the underside. Live wells on both sides. And then back here on both, we've got this motor trimmed up. This is dedicated fender storage. So you don't have the fenders cluttering up your space or eating up your storage area. You've got dedicated space for your fenders. We do have the Fender Pros as a common option on this boat. So a quick disconnect for your fenders, more rod holders and recessed cleats on the back. Both on the port and starboard side, you do have a step on each side of the transom so easier to get in and out of the boat again this boat is powered with a single 450 racing motor from mercury got the twin power poles on a bracket mount you can do this in a twin engine setup as well but very impressed with the performance and the handling on this as a single that's a look at scout's new 281 xss again i'm carl anderson with marine max charleston if you have any questions about this boat or any of our others be sure to give us a call at 843-747-1889 and always check us out online at marinemax.com. Thanks for watching. I can't explain. I hate it. It gives me a headache on the city. Courtney, who does the search now?
I guess Bruce's buying his shirts and I gave him my card. I crossed out your credit card and put it on Bruce's account. Okay, well I bought a hat too. Chad, you gonna order one or what? Yeah, <laughs> no, I did it. Thank I, you. It's good. Yeah, Do you want to run me on this? I'll do it.